The Stellantis merger is now complete and we're getting a better idea of where the company is headed these days. And that's thanks to a long interview with the new CEO today at the Automotive Press Association. Local Fort Business Editor Rod Maloney is live tonight in Auburn Hills with more on this story. Rod. Yeah, hi, Kimberly. Uh, for full disclosure, I'm on the board of the APA, and uh, it was an interesting strategy session we had today with Carlos Tavares, who is the new CEO. The very expensive semiconductor chip shortage has filled marshalling lots with unfinished vehicles and staunched supplies and sales industry-wide. Tavares says it's going to continue causing problems. It's going to drag in 22 easy, easy, mm. because I don't see enough signs that an additional production from the Asian sourcing points is going to come to, let's say, the West in the near future. Stellantis is going to spend about $35 billion over the next five years toward electric vehicles. Jeep will lead the way, he says, and existing transmission and engine plants will convert to battery making. As for the merger, he says the company is way ahead of schedule with cost savings. We have a very significant bottom-up flow from our teams who are proposing to us many more ideas than the ones that the cross company teams that took care of the merger were able to imagine. But at the Auburn Hills engineering facility, there is deep concern there are possible cuts coming. Tavares admitted electrification will increase costs by a massive 40%, and he wants to be able to keep vehicles affordable for the middle class. So when we are able to generate enough ideas, then uh, we are fine. And uh, when the car companies are not able to generate enough ideas, most of the time you end up with restructuring and that hurts jobs. That's what we are trying to avoid. And that is precisely what I'm getting phone calls about from inside the tower here from a lot of people worried that their job is likely going to end up being cut. And Tavares even added that he sees inflation on the horizon, which adds still more pressure to that situation. I gave a call to the media relations department and they tell me that there are no cuts planned and that the worries are really just jitters that come with any merger. Reporting live in Auburn Hills, Rod Maloney, Local 4. All right, sounds like a great conversation. Rod, we appreciate it.